Negrani. This is Kruti Jai Panchori, Assistant Professor in LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology in the Department of Electronics and Communication. So friends, this video is about subject Digital Image and Video Processing. So friends, you learn about the image processing, video processing. In this particular video, you are going to learn about the video segmentation. As you learn about the image segmentation, and you know that we were dividing the image into the number of parts. Now we are going to learn about the video segmentation. Temporal segmentation, temporal coherence. So we are going to learn about this topic in this video. So let us enjoy the session. So friends, the video segmentation that refers to the partitioning the video or frames into spatial, temporal or spatial temporal regions that are homogeneous in some feature space. So earlier image was segmented. Now the video is segmented. So temporal segmentation that partitions video into the shots based on the similarity of the frames. In which frames which are the similar so we are dividing okay them into the shots based on the similarity of the frames or moving object versus static background based on the change in detection. Spatial segmentation. What is this? So spatial segmentation as we know that we are considering the image as a space. So spatial segmentation partitions each video frame into homogeneous regions. The same regions which can be achieved by segmenting each frame individually based on the color similarity. So intra-frame image segmentation. So as with any segmentation problem, effective video segmentation that requires two important things that are the proper feature selection. The preferred uh, the features need to select properly and with the appropriate distance measure. The distance between the two particular the frame or the two particular the pixels. So now the spatial and temporal segmentation is temporarily connected spatial segmentations or object trajectories. For example, the interframe segmentation mean based on the similarity of color and the motion between the frames or the color and the motion tracking. Okay, so this is the segmentation. It is highly dependent on the model and the criteria for grouping pixels into the regions as we have done. In the image segmentation, we name the R1, R2, R3, R4 and union of all this that is what that's our image. Similarly over here that the, all the regions and they are grouping pixels into the region and it is about the segmentation. This is about the video. So motion segmentation. So motion segmentation pixels are grouped together based on the similarity in the motions. Okay, so where the similarity in the motions, where found, okay, group all the pixels together, okay, and process onto that. Okay, so for any given application, the segmentation algorithm that needs to find the balance between the model complexity and the analysis state. So, insufficient model will inevitably result in over segmentation. Okay, so sometimes you can see that the movement that is the, the very less. Then the movement that becomes very, very fast. So, you have to find out the particular frame in which we can see that 
कि whether the speed, whether all the distances would be same or not, wherever it forms six, group together and reduces the speed. Factors that affect the choice of a specific segmentation method, which includes the first is precision of the segmentation. This is the factors, okay? So precision of the segmentation. What is it? So if the segmentation is used to improve the compression efficiency or the rate control, okay, then misalignment between the computed and the actual object border may not be of a big concern. So on the other end of the object-based video. That we have two things. One thing that is the background, another one that is object. Fine. So object based video, object based video, the editing or the shape similarity matching that estimated and the actual object boundaries should be aligned perfectly when a single pixel error may not be tolerable. So you have to first of all you need to then you need to just differentiate the object and the background. So next is real time performance. What is the real time performance? So real time performance means if the real time performance is required, for example, for a rate control in the video processing, video conferencing. Then fully automatic method can be used. On the other end, one can use the semi-automatic interactive algorithms for on on uh, offline applications such as the video editing, indexing, two-pass coding, or to obtain semantically meaningful segments. So this way. Next is. The complexity of the content. What is this? So, this complexity that depends upon the motion of the camera, the amount of the camera motion, and the texture uniformity, contrast between the object, smoothness of the abortion, objects entering and leaving the scene. Regularity of the object shape, frequency of cut, and the special effects. So these all are the points okay that can be important while the complexity of the content can be considered. So more complex scene require a more sophisticated segmentation algorithm. That if you don't found any similarity in your video, then it becomes very complex to divide your video or to segment the video into the number of regions. Okay, so therefore, it is easier to detect the cuts than whites or the cracks. So these are the factors that we need to consider. So complicated models will introduce more complexity and require more computation and a constraint for the sterility. So more computation, again the more time that is required for processing the video. In the image coding, the objective of the segmentation that is to exploit the spatial and the temporal coherence in the video data by adaptively identifying the coherent motion regions with a simple motion models. Okay, so block based video coders that avoid the segmentation problem together by artificially imposing a regular array of the block and applying the motion coherence with this block. As we know about the redundancy, when we add with the data to correct it. Similar way, in the block based video coder, avoiding the segmentation problem altogether 
by artificially imposing a regular array of a block and applying the motion covalence with the block. So this model that requires very small overhead encoding, but it does not accurately describe an image and does not fully exploit the coherence in the video data. In the region based approach which exploit the coherence of the object motion by grouping similar motion region into a single description have shown the improved performance over block based coder. So region based approach okay this require this things okay. So now in the layered representation of the coding video data is uh, decomposed into a set of overlapping layers. So each layer consists of an intensity map okay describing the intensity profile of a power and motion region okay over the many frames and alpha map describing its relationship with other layers and a parametric motion map describing the motion of the region. So the layer representation has potential for achieving greater compression because each layer exploits both the spatial and the temporal coherence of the video data. So in addition the representation is similar to those used in the video graphics and so it provides the convenient way for manipulate the video data. So our goal is the spatial spatial temporal segmentation to identify the spatial and the temporal co uh, co coherence in the video data and derive the layer representation for the image sequence. Temporal coherence. So motion estimation provides the necessary information for locating corresponding regions in the different frame. So new positions for each region that can be predicted given the previous estimated motion for the region. Now, the motion model, they are estimated within each of these predicted regions and updated the set of the motion hypothesis derived for the image. So, the motion models that estimated from the previous segmentation that can be used by the region classifier to directly determine the corresponding coherent motion regions. So, the segmentation based uh, motion that conveniently provide a way to track coherent motion regions and in addition when the analysis is initiated with the segmentation which results from the previous frame computation is reduced and the robustness of the uh, that is increased okay so this add the structure to the video by partitioning into the chapters so this is the first step for the video summarization method and which should be enable fast growing and indexing so that the user can quickly discover important activities for the object. So this is about the video segmentation. So thank you very much everyone.